An internal door frame may need to be replaced because it's been damaged or because the direction that the door opens needs to be changed. The correct name for an internal door frame is a door lining. A door lining is made up of two jams and a head section. In this film, we're gonna show you how to take out and replace this old damaged door lining. And in part two, we'll show you how to fit the new one. We've already removed the door, so all that's left is to measure up so that we can buy the new door lining set and then remove the existing one. We need to take the architrave off to enable us to remove the old lining. And it will be easier to measure up with it off, so we're going to remove it first. Start by running a utility knife along the edges of the architrave where it meets the door lining and where it meets the wall. This will make it easier to remove and will help to prevent damage to the wall. Then starting at the bottom, use a hammer and an old wood chisel to ease the architrave away from the door lining. Once there's enough of a gap between the door lining and the architrave, use a utility bar and an offcut of plywood or similar sheet timber to protect the wall surface and completely remove the architrave all the way around the opening. As you remove each piece of timber, flatten and remove the old nails so you don't accidentally stand on one. Measure the depth of the lining between the two wall faces, the width of the lining at the head and the height of the jams. You now have the measurements that are needed to be able to purchase the new door lining set. B&Q in-store advisors can help you to select the right one. Now we're ready to remove the old door lining. Cut each jam at a height of about half of the opening. Make the cuts at a slight downward angle. This will help you when you come to collapse the lining into the frame. Use a utility bar to leave the lining away from the wall and collapse it into the opening. You should also remove any protruding screws or nails. If your wall is brick or block, you might not be able to get the old fixings out, so cut them off to make them flush with the wall. Then have a good sweep up, ready for the new lining to be fitted. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.